So obviously 2014 is a fascinating year in the military sciences area because uh, you know the strategic map has been redrawn in terms of threats and mission requirements in Iraq with ISIS but also with Russia with the resurgence of state-on-state -state conflict and deterrence. Um, be fascinating to see how the, the Russian angle turns out within Europe, also how our um, military thinking changes within NATO, whether it's able to overcome the austerity at the moment and perhaps reverse the trend of falling budgets. Particularly going to be fascinating to see how the F-35 programme comes of age um, or doesn't in 2015, which is when we're supposed to see uh, initial operating capability for the version we're buying. So that'll be fascinating from uh, an RAF and Royal Navy point of view as well. It will be interesting to see uh, Russia uh, with its fifth generation fighter programme, but also to see whether it has success in exporting its uh, you know, latest flanker variants in, able, you know, in order to actually integrate them into its own fighter force given its budget problems with the falling ruble and oil price. And also, of course, China continuing on its sort of quite uh, sort of shrouded rise, but nonetheless, uh, we may see some very interesting things coming out of there in the air power, but also the missile domain, which could, you know, long term be the start of significant uh, changes in the balance in the Pacific. So, interesting year.